877-572-8446. I've got to I've got to believe that there's more people that care about this. Um, Mary from California said that in our country the child would be returned to the parent. Not always. Uh, if this if this child had been legally adopted, um, the uh, the parent that gave up the child would not be allowed to regain custody. That's one of the reasons why we have such strong adoption language uh, in the adoption laws. We believe that it's it's a really bad thing to decide that it's it's okay for this family to raise this kid and then to take them out. To yank them away. Um, now, if the child had been kidnapped, that is, that is, that, then there's some consideration there. But if the mother said she was kidnapped and she had actually kind of sold the child or something else, then that child would be uh, left in the, in the custody of the family that adopted him. Um, and that's not even questionable. That's how it would work in America. Now, we're giving the woman in Guatemala the benefit of the doubt. Uh, we're saying that if the court says that the child was kidnapped and so forth, then, then we're, we're allowing that to uh, kind of be the case for this particular discussion. It makes the discussion far more interesting. Um, but a Guatemalan court doesn't have any say over an American family, nor should it. It shouldn't have any say over Americans, Americans' lives. And that child is now not... Uh, a Guatemalan citizen. Now, the, the, the pretext of how that child came to be in that home may have been faulty. There may have been wrongdoing in someone's part. Uh, someone may have taken that child and kidnapped her and sold her to the market where they then found a, an adoption agency and said, we found this child and she needs to be adopted and blah, blah, blah. I mean, there might be a whole long, weird complex series of events that brings that child to the U.S. and into this adoptive situation. But that's not the fault of the child. It's not the fault of the parents. And it's not the fault of the uh, natural uh, mother either, if that's in, in fact how it all happened. 877-572-8446. 877-572-8446. So Mary in California said, absolutely, the child should go back to the mom regardless. Line one. Gwen, Kansas, you're up next on the Kevin McCullough Show. Good morning, Gwen. Hi. So what do you think yeah, of this? I like your show, and you're doing a good job. Thank you, ma'am. What, what well, do you... I ask you to your question is the child should stay with the parents he's got now. How do you know that child belongs to that woman? And that's one of the things that I don't know. Um, but evidently the court in Guatemala has reasonable proof that, that she is the mom and that, and that that was in fact, I mean, and I guess to, to be fair, this, this woman, uh, held vigils for her kidnapped daughter. She, she was looking for her. She searched for her for a long time. I'm assuming that they could produce DNA evidence that would definitively determine whether or not that girl was in fact the girl that belonged to, uh, the, the, the mother. And I'm, for the sake of this argument, allowing all of that to be just stated as, as accepted, that, that this, this girl does actually belong to this, this mom. Um, obviously, if she doesn't, then I don't think there's any contest here. The parents keep her, and that's the end of that. To me, the courts get in their way and lots of things that don't need to be there. But let me ask you this. What if, what if they can prove that she is the actual mom and that the, she is the actual daughter. Do, do your feelings stay the same? Should she still remain with the adoptive parents? I think she should stay here with these people that, that she's with now because she, she knows English, and that's all she knows. Okay. It's like that deal with that Cuban boy. Elian Gonzalez. Yep. They so should have stayed here, too, and they sent him back. Yeah, and... Oh, and no, I still believe the child should stay with the people here in the United States. All right, Gwen, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was, I was uh, on that Elian Gonzalez matter, I was totally on the side of the, of the family here in the States for two reasons. One, it was biological relatives that were related to his mom, who was the one trying to bring him to the U.S. Number two, he had no relationship with his father. Um, the Clinton administration saw it differently and uh, 
came in in the middle of the night and took him away and took him back. And I have to wonder if that's not what we're uh, preparing to see here in the United States. Is, is that what the, uh, the um, Attorney General's office will do here? 877-572-8446. Is it what should be done? This little girl, no fault of her own, gets adopted by uh, these American parents. She's lived here six years. It's the only family she's known. She doesn't have memory of, of someone else. Uh, and is this one of those situations where you just say to the biological mom, I'm really sorry. Bad things do happen sometimes. But for the welfare of your daughter, we're going to leave her with the family that is in the United States. Is that fair? Is that fair to her? Is that fair to the little girl? Is that fair to the, uh, to the parents? I see three sets of innocent people here. And I think it's a very tough call. But so far, our caller's evenly divided. Mary in California saying, nope, send her back. The mother has the right to keep her, and she should get her. Gwen in Kansas saying she should stay with the adoptive parents. What's, what's your opinion on this? 877-572-8446. If you were the adoptive parents, uh, you had wanted a child, didn't have a way of having any other children, and this child you were able to adopt, and there wasn't a single red flag that was raised through the whole process. And this is six years later now. She's in, she's, in, uh, she's in first grade. She started school last year. Um, she has grown up knowing family that loved her, that provided for her, that fed her, that clothed her, that has given this care for her uh, nonstop, 24 hours a day, since she came into their, in, into their home. Um, do you rip her out of that and kind of dunk her down into Guatemalan culture and say, here, you got to go live with this woman? I mean, this young girl is not going to have a real good understanding of, of what's going on for some time. 877-572-8446. Is there some sort of in-between step that should be pursued? Should the adoptive parents invite the biological mom to come to the U.S. and begin a relationship with her? And then over time reveal to her who she is and, and why she's there. I, I, I almost think that would be the most compassionate thing to do for everyone involved. Um, if you can prove through DNA that this child does belong to this mother, then maybe the thing to do is to allow her to come maybe even live with the family or near the family, uh, maybe have some sort of role in the household um, as the babysitter or something else where you could have some, some contact, uh, you know, that, that kind of provided the bridge between the life that she's known and the life that she's going to have revealed to her when she's old enough to understand it. 877-572-8446. What do you think? 877 8446. Uh, Charlotte, calling from New Jersey. Charlotte, welcome. You're on the Kevin McCullough Show. Hi, Kevin. Thanks for uh, um, taking my call. Sure thing. Um, I was just uh, mentioning that I do have two adopted children from the Philippines. <clears throat> they are older now. However, I just think, <laughs> maybe I'm being biased, but I think this child should really stay with these adoptive parents. I think it's about the child. Only because I can't imagine a little, a little, a, what, a little girl. I mean, just being ripped up for the home she's only known and sent back to there. I mean, I, I really think that would be the best thing for the child. I don't know what psychologists would say, and I know that mother will loves her child. But at the same time, love is a, you know, just thinking of the child, I think, is the best thing, and I think that would be the best thing for her. Yeah, it would be a tough thing to say, but are you saying that what the mother should really do is if she really loves the child is to let her stay where she is? Yeah, I really do think that. I mean, that, that is a really hard thing to tell oh, a mom. it is. To I tell know. a mom. It, it must be, yeah, I can't imagine. Especially if you did lose your child the way she did. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? I've always heard people say... You know, especially, you know, young mothers who have children and don't, uh, out of wedlock. 
I've always, it's such a great, great um, a feat to decide that I'm going to do what's best for the child and give them a, it's such a, a tremendous show of love to do that. Yeah, but that doesn't restore a relationship that you wanted. That can provide. But that doesn't restore a relationship that you envisioned having with your child. No, it doesn't. But, you know, and, and the other thing I said, maybe they could provide some kind of visiting rights or something. See, that's what I'm wondering. If, if, yeah. if the best situation isn't to have her come here yeah. uh, into the culture where the child has been living and yeah. in some way allow that kind of interaction to take mm -hmm. place kind of uh, naturally over time, and then when the child's old enough, reveal, you know, you yeah. were adopted. Uh, that's why you look different than us. But th this is your actual mom. And we brought her here because the circumstances in your life were very, very bad. Uh, you were stolen from her, and we felt like it would be important for you to know her. I think yeah. if well, they that, could that do something along like those lines, it would know, probably end up being the, the best for everyone involved. Opportunity to go back and meet their natural parents because we know who they are. And they've never, they said, no, nope, that's just the way it is. They just and your children made that choice. They made their own choice, yeah. That's interesting. All right, Charlotte, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. It's the Kevin McCullough Show. More of your calls. Um, and if you want to drop me an email on this story, kmcradio at gmail.com, kmcradio at gmail.com. Feel free to hit that. Coming right back on the Kevin McCullough Show.